Hey guys, I'm on live call with three of the greatest hardcore solo cell found PoE players. And I say that because it's true. I recently hosted a 10 day hardcore solo cell found Scion only private league designed as a scavenger hunt to collect 12 items within the game simultaneously. As I played it myself, I realized I pretty much had two overall easy items to obtain the Chitus Plum and the Veiled Amulet. And a lot of mid game items, but um, they're very easy to obtain. Even 10 days in solo cell found, but in hardcore mode, it made it a whole different game. It was uh, quite a bit more challenging. I ended up with only two, and I, I spent a whole day just farming at the end. And uh, the 18 people that ended up participating in the league, only four people got five or more items. And the three of you guys, you all tied and got 12. So I want to introduce here Sifu Wolfie, Arda Eva, and Darkseid. It's currently 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the fucking morning, my time. Uh, two of us are in Europe, one is in Asia, and I'm in North America. And I'm not a morning person. I normally record these uh, after a few beers, and I've not even had my coffee. But I appreciate you guys taking the time. I wanted to figure out a good time to kind of get together and just kind of pick your brain about the strategies for this, uh, for this challenge. And so, Wolfie, you got 12 items first, and you got them on day 4 of the league, which is incredible. Arda Eva, uh, I believe you got them on day 7, and Darkseid, you got them on the last day, but you did achieve two flexes in your video. Um, you got a golden oil, which was not required, and more importantly, you were the only one of the three to get the 120 max life and 120 res belt without any catalyst, so I kind of want to start there. How did you manage to get that fractured life belt? Uh, yeah, I'm Darkseid or Flux. Um, basically, Ritual it gave me a lot of things, Divine Orb, Sinfuing, 2021 gem, and it gave me the Fractured Belt ah. with life, so I just had to use some essences, craft the shirt, resist, and that was it. So ritual. Nicely done. Um, I'll go back here to Wolfie, because um, you, of course, did this the quickest of everybody. Um, what was your strategy going into the league uh, that you would want to share with my viewers? Mm, actually, I, I do a lot of haste. It's given me a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, you, don't, you don't need to get all those things uh, in yellow tier maps or red tier maps. Did you have like a build in mind or did you like sort of start with some kind of leveling skill and then switch over? Yeah, I was thinking about uh, playing Toxic Rain Totem, but I chose Exanguinate. Yeah, and a lot of people it did that is. It, it is easy for Scion to pass to the Divine Shield, the Keystone. That was strong uh, against the physical attacks. Really strong. No, got it. Let's pop over to Arda Eva. What was your strategy going in, like before you even started the league? Did you have a build in mind? Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Arta. <laughs> uh, my most strats were Ritual and what was there? And the uh, expedition. Sally, I died. I greeted for Uchtred, and he just one shot me. <laughs> yeah, I remember you telling us that. So, it sucks. So, yeah, I died at day three. I actually could finish at day three, but yeah, because I lost, lost my character, I needed to re level anyone. So, yeah, that's how it happened. Yeah, and. Um... Let me note, because I was going to note this at the end, all four of us actually died on one of our mains, literally on the way. And so me and Wolfie, yeah. I believe, died on uh, Innocence, of all things. And then um, the other two of yeah. you died fairly advanced on. And um, I think, you know, I, I was going to say here, it's sort of a metaphor in life. Um, the most successful people, whether it's your career, your relationship, whatever the goal the best always fall down at least once and you have to get yourself back up and you know it can be anything from drugs to financially hard times a bad breakup or even dying in hardcore solo self found all four of us died um with pretty far in characters but we all kind of picked it back up and made it back through and made it pretty far so i just wanted to make a note of that and you kind of segued me into that it's very true uh cool dark side or flux uh, do you prefer flux sorry um yeah, what was yeah. your strat? Did you have a build in mind before you even started? Yeah, I also just went with uh, Weep. I got Wild Weep during campaign, so Weep Exsanguinate on my first character. Uh, sadly, it died to Innocence in the Fight Cathedral, a T14 map. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, right. my second character was just um, Toxic Rain because I had a Quill Rain lying around, so that was fine. I also mainly just 
did Witch hear a bit of expedition and obviously uh, Blight and Heist notes on the Pesic Tree to I get the oil. I designed and... the scavenger hunt. I almost had Ritual in mind, knowing about Synthesis. I knew that people weren't going to be farming, you know, Cortex. <laughs> and so I was like thinking to myself, let me put that in there because, you know, people that have played the game know that's probably the most likely place you're going to get that. And um, I still couldn't get it, but I also had bad luck getting the mirror. Um, did you guys have luck getting the mirror contract? Did you use the barber, or did you just find it? Whoever wanted to I go. got uh, it. Okay. Um, I, I, I got like 70 contracts or something until I got uh, mirror of Tickler Yeah. And yeah, I, I just found the uh, smuggler's caches. I didn't even I didn't even go to the harbor until. I got the contract, so... You found it, yeah. How about you, Arda? I luckily got it from a ritual. You got the contract from a ritual, or you got the mirror? Yes. Okay, the contract. Yeah, I don't think you can get <laughs> green yeah. items. That's cool. That's interesting. How about you, Wolfie? Uh, my strat is built around haste, so there's no problem for me. Yeah, I, I just kept checking the barber from level 70 until level 81. And then I also just was running maps and uh, opening the, uh, whatever they're called, I'm t too early in the morning. Those boxes that have the rogue coins. <laughs> I can't even think of what they're called. Smuggler's cash. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Smuggler's cash. Yeah, I just couldn't get it. But, you know, I, I do want to say um, when I run this the next time, I'm not going to reveal the list, but it'll have a little bit more easier items because um, very few people achieved five items. So it, it'll probably be a league or two down the road, but... It'll have more easier, and it'll have more even harder than this, um, just to kind of spread people out, kind of spread the bell curve, and it'll be a little less ritual dependent, because I think that's what we all kind of, it sounds like, figured was the best way to get a lot of these. Cool. Sort of, but uh, to be fair, Mirror was probably the hardest thing to get hmm. on the list. Interesting. Like I think everything else is was silver silver oil. You can kind of force it with new scarabs. Belt is possible, and other things is just Tujin or or ritual. And that's it. Yeah, Tujin's another good point. If you're listening to this, um, Tujin can offer currency big time. So I was checking him for um, the divine. I was presuming I would just get a divine to fall. I was like, I'm running enough content. There's no way. It still never fell. I didn't even get an exalt either. It was amazing. But that's my luck. Um, again, the main thing to talk about was just your build strats. I get it. It makes sense because the scion is near life nodes and the scion is near a lot of physical nodes. And that's why um, going some kind of physical DOT like Exsanguinate makes sense. Um, I've never actually tried the The Toxic Rain one is interesting because would you pick Toxic Rain Scion over like a Deadeye or a Pathfinder? like in a normal run? Or do you find there's an advantage to the Scion with Toxic Rain? I, I just think it's kind of comfy, but I would prefer the Pathfinder. Does anyone have any tips for someone that wants to sort of, that's been playing the game and wants to attempt hardcore solo self found like any tips for certain auras or skills or things to avoid? So like, let's start with um, Wolfie. Any tips to avoid? Or just general um, tips. No, uh, wait. Uh, the only thing I want to say is, you just take care of your the uh, the attacks. Just take care of the attacks. Don't um, don't 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 worry about the spell uh, in the early maps. That's interesting because so often I've uh, almost said the opposite, <laughs> because uh, and it's more like a leak start. Like at League Start, I find spells so much easier to scale, and then I transition to attack builds. Um, but your experience is that attacks, which are more weapon-based, um, you find that scales better. For yeah, soul, and so. they they have cut the uh, experience gaining of gen. Yeah, no, it's all good. I, I, I like the different perspectives. Um, going over to you, Flux, what do you think? Um, any tips regarding to what to avoid or what to scale? Yeah, probably just get your defenses up, get enough life, and use armor or grace. That's what I do. Don't I, die. Uh... Yeah, and in my opinion, just definitely get enough cast or attack speed to feel smooth. 
Mm -hmm. And try to get some phasing because that's really powerful in hardcore. Yeah, I, um, just, I just running through maps. Yeah, that's a good point. And Arda, any any tips from your perspective, from your experience? Just don't die. <laughs> don't die, indeed. <laughs> yeah. Just don't. Die. Um, just... I don't know. Like simple ones. Create a mule when you start, so you don't die in mud flats over and over again. Yeah, I um, I have some footage there on my live because I tried the live stream this time, and yeah, I, I just literally move out of the way of the rowers. Like that, it just um, a little bit of it is just skill. You can have evasion, and you can have um, you know, spell suppression and stuff, and you can have defense. But like, I think um, maybe don't drink too much before playing hardcore serial self found. Maybe that's good advice because like you have to physically move out of the way sometimes. Yeah, that's true. I mean. My, I I will explain how uh, what was my strategy to not die. Like I just went for grace, aura, because you can await all the attacks. And I took um, enduring cry with uh, with increased duration, and I had like thirty physical reduction, just as a base. So it was really good for me. Yeah, we and, don't yeah. I worry about evasion, like, because I know, like, the one percent of time I do get hit, that's where it's like, I'm gonna be fucked. I'm gonna be one shotted. That's my thought process, and that's why I did not do that myself. But um, you obviously did very well with that strat. And then flux. Um, what would you say your primary aura was? Um, I think I used Determ and grace on both. He determined and, and grace. He went all in. Yeah. Nice just get as safe as possible because i also usually don't play hardcore i just play regular solo cell phone so kind yeah, of get has experience with solo cell phone and when you do that you just know you know sort of what times you need to hit the crafting bench you just kind of know what to keep and what not to keep and you worry less about throwing shit in your 1c tab and it, it's a different play style and if you're forward with poe i think it's a good thing to try i do personally plan to basically stick with trade softcore or Hardcore solo self found. I feel like they're opposite ends of the spectrum, and um, I had a great time with this league. I thought it was. Um, I had actually more fun than the crafting league, but I think it's because I just haven't been a huge fan of the necropolis mechanic. All right, um, Wolfie. Any last tips? Since you were, um, in a sense, the leader, but all of you are winners. You're all equal because it was not a race league. But any last minute things before I end call here? Um, hardcore is fun. It's fun. Really, really, really fun. So every time I die, I learn something new. That is the spirit of hardcore, I think. Yeah, no doubt. Um, it, it really ups the ante. And I um, appreciate you guys taking the time, giving your insight. Uh, very interesting, different aura strats, different approaches. But um, all of us died once, and we all made it through. And um, I was not in the top four. I was in, like, the top eight, I believe. But... Um, I think it's great we guys could get on call and um, share some uh, input. Thanks so much. I'm going to end recording. Take care. Yep, thanks. Thank you, man. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for the race. Yeah, of course. <laughs>